Hi, my name is Xin Lou. I received the Bachelor of Science degree from Fudan University, China, in 2018. Now, I'm pursuing the PhD degree at CPAS, Virginia Tech. My advisor is Dr. Zhang Li. My research interests include 48 volt to 1 volt voltage regulator modules, resonant converters, and advanced control technicals. In the video, I will be talking about the wide voltage range high efficiency sigma converter 48 volt VRM with faster transient response. For the 48 volt to 1 volt VRM, CPAS has proposed two solutions. First is LC DCX based two stage solution, and the other is single stage sigma. For LCDCX based two-stage solution, the first stage LCDCX can be high efficiency and density. The second stage, multi-phase bug, is low cost and high bandwidth. It's easy to optimize the bus voltage for maximum efficiency. For sigma computer, with majority of power through efficient LCDCX, the efficiency and the power density will be higher than two-stage solutions. The circular diagram of LC DCX based two stage solution is shown on the left. For the first stage LC DCX, when bus voltage reduced from 12 volt to 6 volt, the efficiency keeps almost the same. For second stage multi phase buck, lower bus voltage can significantly increase efficiency. Finally, 94% peak efficiency can be achieved when bus voltage equals to 6 volt. However, efficiency will always reduce for two-stage VRM. In order to further increase efficiency, a single-stage sigma converter is proposed. The architecture of sigma converter is shown here. From the input side, the LC and the back are in series, while from the output side, the LC and the back are in parallel. For higher efficiency, the majority of power is delivered through efficient LC DCX, and the buck converter is used to regulate the output voltage. In this way, the efficiency will be higher than two stage solutions. The Sigma converter hardware prototype is shown on the left, which can achieve 700 watt per inch cube power density from the efficiency curve compared with two stage solution. The peak efficiency of sigma converter is about 1% higher, and the efficiency drop at the full load condition is much smaller. Compared with STM and the Viker solution, the peak efficiency can be more than 2% higher. After verifying, sigma converter can achieve higher efficiency than state of art. Our next question is how to control sigma converter. So, constant time V score control is finally chosen to achieve faster transient response. So, the circular diagram is shown here. So, we derive the small signal model of the, of the constant time V score control sigma converter, and the output impedance is shown here. So, here we can see the derived the small signal model can match well with the simulation result. And uh, we choose four, four points, point one and point two works at resonant frequency, point three and point four works at a higher or lower frequency. The so output impedance is shown on the left at all these four points, point one, point two, point three, and point four. Constant load line can be achieved, realized to meet the VR13 respect, which means at all our operating range, we can achieve constant load line. Uh, next, the load transient response is verified in simulation. Even with the IDT equals to 3,000 ampere per microsecond for point one, there is no overshoot or undershoot, and the transient speed is very fast. For point three, Small overshoot and uh, undershoot exist, but uh, still we can meet VR13 respects. 
the performance of point two and point four are very similar to point one and point three. Here is the LC DCFs for two stage approach. With different turns ratio, it's easy to optimize the bus voltage for higher total efficiency. The top one is for 12V bus and the bottom one for 6V bus. When bus voltage changes from 12V to 6V, the efficiency reduces 0.4% from 98.4% to 98%, and the power density maintains higher than 1000 watt per inch cube. However, Efficiency will reduce for two-stage VRM. In order to further improve the efficiency, single-stage sigma converter architecture is proposed. This is our sigma converter for CPU application. The input voltage range is 40 volt to 60 volt, and output is 1.3 to 1.85 volt. For nominal condition, the LC works at resonant frequency 1 MHz, and for other exchange conditions, the LC operation frequency will change from 800 kHz to 1.5 MHz to reduce the pressure of bus converters. With the majority of power through the efficient LC DCX, the peak efficiency can reach 95.2% with 54V input and 1.8V output. Also, the efficiency jobs for higher current will be smaller compared with two-stage solutions. The power density can reach 700 watt per inch cube. For the control, a MCU is used to control the LC converter, and a controller with constant on-time physical control is applied to control the bar converter. Constant load line is achieved at all operation range, and a very fast load transient performance can also be realized. To summarize, in this work, a sigma converter VRM is proposed that can operate efficiently over wide input and output voltage ranges. The Sigma converter architecture utilized an LC converter with integrated magnetic structure that helps achieving efficient variable gain control and operate efficiently under wide input and output voltage ranges. A maximum efficiency of 95.2% and a power density of 700 watt per inch cube can be achieved, which are higher than state-of-art solutions. Additionally, constant on-time V-score control are adopted for AVP requirement. With the control method proposed, faster transient response can be achieved. This work was supported by the Power Management Consulting in Center for Power Electronic Systems, Virginia Tech. Thank you.